whether he thought the bailout was a step in the right direction. It's a step in the same direction America's tried every time it's had a major financial crisis. And every last time this has worked, not because it's restored stability to the system or made it work uh, more sensibly, it's simply because it's re-encouraged private borrowing to grow even further. If you go back to the 1987 crisis, the debt level America had back then dipped for a while and then started to rise once more. They didn't even blink through 2000. Every time that they've had a crisis, what they've done is re engineered the confidence in lending money. I think they've got so far this time with literally the, the, the American debt ratio of, of the private sector being almost three times its annual GDP, they can't restart the engine. And I think no matter what they do, debt will start falling down and when it does the American economy will do with, go down with it. So this rescue will only patch over the, the short term liquidity crisis. It won't stop the overall economic decline. George Bush could be alluding to this not being the end of the story. Mm. Uh, as he was signing off on the bailout, he warned of continuing troubling times ahead. Mm. And there are plenty of them. I mean, even on the financial side, the level of debt, the, this, people talk about the scale of this package. It's $700 billion. The aggregate private debt level in America is $41 trillion. This is rather like giving the upper deck on the Titanic a thimble and saying, please bail us out. We seem to be taking in some water. The iceberg is still hit. The engine room is flooding. They should be worried about the engine room, which is the real economy where people are massively in debt with money they shouldn't have been given in the first place by irresponsible lending. We all know it's Wall Street's fault for this level of lending and the financial system throughout the world. They should be addressing where the cause has been, and that's the totally inappropriate debt levels that have been foisted upon largely unwitting borrowers. Meanwhile, in this country, both the opposition and the government are giving their full backing to the Bush bailout. Mm. And what effect will this deal have on our economy here? It will reduce the likelihood that the banks won't be able to completely pass on the next rate cut we're expecting from the RBA. The reason that the rates were uh, argued to be rising is because part of the money the banks raise is, is made on what they call the wholesale market and a major part of that is where one bank will sell another bank a bond and then agree to buy it back at a, at a later date at a higher price and that represents effectively interest on borrowed money. They're swapping these crazy bonds and now of course they don't actually believe that if a bank sells this bond to them and gets money off them they can actually afford to buy it back in a month's time let's say. If these bonds are removed from the system then there'll be cash there instead and the wholesale market will work and the pressure on wholesale funding will drop so there'll be more possibility for banks to pass on the next rate cut than there would have been otherwise but I still think in maybe a month's time or maybe even less there'll be another series of financial crises that'll wipe out this whole 700 billion dollars and we'll be back again back at square one. Steve Keen, many thanks for that. You're welcome.